G'day viewers, Retro Man here. Today's feature is the fabulous Baker Boys starring those wonderful Bridges Brothers and Michelle Pfeiffer. This is a hot film about life, love and loyalty and I've got more to say about it today on The 80s Show. That's what you get folks for making love Coming to you from a basement studio somewhere down under, it's the 80s show with Australia's Retro Man. On tonight's show, Retro Man brings you part two of his retrospective on the fabulous Baker Boys. Well, what are we waiting for? Lights, camera, Retro Man. G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the 80s show. Now today I'll be continuing my retrospective on the fabulous Baker Boys. Think of this as a part two where I delve into more intricacies on the film. Now the interesting thing about this film is that it kind of made Michelle Pfeiffer the toast of the town. I mean, uh, she won so many accolades for this. In fact, she was even Oscar nominated for her performance. And I mean, really, what a performance it was. I mean, it was sexy. It was uh, kind of, uh, you know, captivating, really. It was sort of harking back to those early days of your Rita Hayworths and your Marilyn Monroes. And there's a performance that everyone talks about in this where she's on the grand piano making Whoopi with Jeff. And it's one of those uh, performances that sort of stays with you. It's considered, I think, when they uh, talk about the great star-making performances, her uh, performance in this is one that they sort of turn to and go, remember Michelle Pfeiffer back in 1989 and what she did making Whoopi in The Fabulous Baker Boys? And she can actually sing. This is the thing. She kind of went on the press circuit for this film and they said, well, you know, uh, Michelle, have you done any singing before? And she's like, well, maybe I have to tell you I was in Grease 2. And I mean, really, there's no shame there. I mean, Grease 2 wasn't that well received in the early 80s. And this is, of course, in 89, a number of years later. We're looking at seven years later, Michelle sings again in this one. But uh, really, if you take a look back at Grease 2, I mean, she really nailed that. I mean, she brought a lot of sass to the role and, uh, you know, her vocal vocals were on point and she could dance and that really was a bit of a star making performance so she kind of got her due a little bit late with the fabulous Baker Boys and that was a little bit underappreciated Grease too. And uh, if you're interested in Grease 2, I mean, I've got a then and now on the stars of Grease 2 on the channel, so you may even want to check that out. But uh, while we're still on the topic of the fabulous Baker Boys, I mean, uh, this movie really goes for one hour 55, so it's about five minutes short of two hours. And of course, it's a dramedy. I mean, it, it looks at the working life of singers and performers in bars and, uh, you know, sort of their, it, it kind of looks at their achievements and what they haven't achieved, what they're longing for. And uh, I think for the uh, just under two hour running time, it gets the job done to a point. But spoiler alert, I mean, there's some things at the end of the film that you kind of wish were resolved a little bit better. I mean, you can kind of accept the ending, but it leaves you longing for more. You want to know more about these characters, you want to get deeper with these characters, and uh, you kind of think to yourself, will the two brothers ever perform again? Will Michelle and Jeff get together? And will they become a couple? Will Jeff actually achieve his dreams? I mean, he kind of feels a little bit burdened by this connection with his brother in this combo act and he kind of after hours goes and moonlights in piano bars and really loses himself and there's a true artist within there that he's wanting and yearning to explore and that's why this film is so deep and profound and um Michelle Pfeiffer, I mean, uh, the relationship that she gets going with Jeff Bridges, I mean, it starts in such a 
sort of a subtle way and then gets kind of hot and heated and uh jeff is like i said he's this cool character in there but then when his attraction to uh michelle pfeiffer kind of materializes he gets a little bit vulgar and distant and doesn't know how to handle it because he's got this uh, sort of understated almost bitterness with Bo but he really loves his brother but uh, he wants to explore more in his career and uh, he doesn't know how to take Michelle Pfeiffer because he kind of knows as well she's coming between him and his brother and uh, it just adds this other layer of complexity to it all and this is a very uh, interesting film I mean I'm talking about it now and I'm thinking I want to watch this again I mean it really could have went for three hours because I think there's some unresolved stuff here and from what I've heard Michelle Pfeiffer loves it that much that she's actually longing to do a sequel with Steve Cloves so who knows Steve might get uh, writing again because his career has been a little bit undernourished um, and uh, he might want to get back out there and uh, write and in fact when he wrote this film he kind of wrote it some people think it's kind of autobiographical but Steve Cloves isn't a pianist but when he was a child he used to watch the Ed Sullivan show and uh, there was these guys called Ferranti and uh, Titcher I think were the uh, duo and they were piano players that showed up on the Ed Sullivan show and he used to watch them as a kid and he kind of wrote this story based on their lives and what it would have been like for them so that adds another dynamic to it as well so this is the fabulous Baker boys and this is uh, a star making performance uh, from Michelle Pfeiffer but I mean Bo and Jeff are so great in this they play off each other so well in fact there's about eight years between the two guys Bo's the older brother and um, I, uh, I really like what they did with it. I think there's a bit of a, their life kind of a wedged in the cracks and their relationships. I mean, Bo served as a little bit of a surrogate father to Jeff in those early years. As I understand it, Lloyd Bridges uh, went off to do that uh, very famous TV series called Sea Hunt. And uh, Bo kind of stepped in as a bit of a surrogate father for Jeff being about eight years older. And uh, it's really nice to see two brothers having some fun on the screen i mean there's there's even a fight in this and from uh, <laughs> what i've heard is that jeff actually broke his finger during the argument uh that they captured for this film and uh it was just great seeing them come together and the fabulous baker boys is a wonderful film i mean it's just short of two hours it could have been three and i think a sequel is in order possibly i mean michelle pfeiffer wants to do it i think back in 2014 the gang got back together a reunion of sorts and they did a photo spread and the three of them looked great in 2014 and now it's 2022 but if they wanted to touch base on this i think it'd kind of be interesting to uh to sort of see where these three ended up in their lives. Did they keep performing? Did they achieve something? And uh, that's what this film is all about. It's about sort of striving, longing. It's, uh, you know, an entertainer's film. And uh, it's about singers and performing and art. And it's about brothers and love, friendship, trust. It's got a lot going on. And I'm going to check it out again. And if you've never seen The Fabulous Baker Boys, I suggest you check it out as well. Anyway, guys, The Fabulous Baker Boys, have you seen it? Tell me in the comments below. I think it's a great film. In fact, it's one of the best films of 1989, and it really grows on you. I think uh, if you see it in different stages of your life, you kind of appreciate it even more. It's a gem. I'm happy to talk about it. And that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed my discussion on this one. And keep watching the channel because we have more Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes, I'm on a bit of a Michelle Pfeiffer kick at the moment. You may have seen my Grease 2 video. And also I have another video coming up on that other film that came out just after this called Married to the Mob. That was another big film for Michelle. So I'm exploring a little bit of her work at the moment. So there we have it, guys. The fabulous baby. Baker Boys from 1989 and it's been an absolute pleasure talking about this one. 
And as always, please like, comment and subscribe and keep watching the channel because I have a lot more coming your way. Until next time, this is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and just as exciting as a Michelle Pfeiffer hair toss. Please subscribe and good night, viewers.